everyone. Welcome to Word Funk. I am Leon Thomas. I am joined by Austin Yorsky and Johnny Maloney. Hello, Leon. It looks like we're having trouble connecting our Floridian friend. <laughs> hey, hold on. Let me... Oh, no, there he is. There he is. What did you do? Nothing. What did you do? Awfully accusatory, aren't we, Austin? Hold on, hold on, wait. Before we yeah. go, don't say things until my recording is working, because <laughs> something's wrong. I Hurry, to, Johnny, be funny. No, I had to start it and then stop it, because of your, your goddamn you not doing things. Hold on. There, I got it. Now, all Do right. you, though? Should we, should we start over? I'm positive. I'm positive. You see... I was going to go after Austin because it's like, Austin's like, what did you do? And I was like, oh, Austin, you know, the first people to point fingers are often the most guilty. But now I'm siding with Austin because I'm thinking that Leon did something. <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to put up with any of this shit, I'm guys. Not, I'm not doing anything. I'm looking at you, Leon. I'm looking at your little picture. You're looking awful guilty there. <laughs> My little picture? Hey, you're smooth and pasty face. <laughs> it's true. Those eyebrows do kind of say... What? I'm not up to anything. <laughs> that was me. I, I don't. That picture uh, is is basically just a screen cap of me in motion during one of my um, on camera episodes. So you were up to something? I, I, yeah, I was talking, and then I briefly stopped talking and closed my mouth, and I said, "Good enough," and I made it my Twitter and uh, Skype and uh, Facebook avatar. I think we caught him red-handed, Austin. It kind of was. It kind of looks like he's melting. Well, I'm not a good-looking person, so you say, I, that's just the way it is. Hey, now, there's no need to be mean to yourself, not here on this show. Well, you, you, I don't know how to respond to, you look like you're melting. So, Hey, I'll have, I'll have you know that one of the most agreeable sights that I've ever seen in my entire life was a bunch of Purdy's Pure Milk Chocolate melting in a double boiler that I was just about to stir into some steamed milk. Oh, wow. Can you guys start calling me the steamed milk? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to us calling you the gravity bone? Um, I feel like that that like kind of went by the wayside when we switched from BT Podcast to Word Funk. Um, I don't Speaking of... <clears throat> Speaking of the classic bits, I don't know if yeah. you guys saw, I retweeted this earlier. Someone, it was, I think it was Softy, the person who did the um, best of the BT podcast, also did a best of Word Funk collection. They're on YouTube. Yeah. He uh, he contacted me uh, a couple weeks ago and let me know he was doing it. And I said, I believe in fair use. So, <laughs> so go right ahead. Uh, and then he did, apparently. It's super cool of him to do that, uh, but also I was kind of listening to them in the background. It was like background uh, noise while I was doing my taxes, because that's a thing. Okay. And, like, not to shoot our own horn, but there's some funny fucking bits in there. The, the one that got me, I was, like, cry laughing. It was when uh, the Skype bot Karen Prescott was hitting on you. Yeah. <laughs> and you were like, <laughs> I'll throw you out a window. I'll watch you die. You'll scream forever. You'll scream forever. Yeah. <laughs> it still gets me. It's so funny. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that it's the dark stuff that gets Austin like that. Oh my god. <clears throat> <laughs> <It's the> dark... <laughs> so moving right along here, Leon. The only ob- the only <laughs> objection. I- the only objection I have, Leon, to you being called the steamed milk is that it it basically acknowledges that you're the whitest one here. Uh, and uh, well, and while I'm not sure that that's a title that we should all necessarily covet, I just I don't know if we've established that yet. Well, we need to find some sort of other nickname for myself before the end of the show, uh, besides steamed milk or gravity bone. Because apparently neither fit anymore. So I'll leave that to you guys. Because I guess you really shouldn't choose your own nickname. Uh, so you guys will have to figure it out for me. Uh, I would I would be willing to call you Hot Foam. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's an evocative image, that paint. <laughs> um, I just, you know, it's something kind of like steamed milk, except it, it just doesn't necessarily be like, wow, that's white. I accept that. All right. Oh, my Hot foam goodness. it is. 
Do you have a new microphone, Leon? Do I? You sound different today. Oh. No. Do I sound normal now? Yeah. Okay, good. Did you forget to push the sound good button? No, no. I changed I I've, I've been messing around with the settings on my microphone to see how things sound. Mhm. I forgot to turn it back. <laughs> Sorry. Um and I don't know I don't know if it was necessarily as bad. It was just different. Okay. Um well, it's back to normal now. I actually uh speaking of microphones, I'm buying I am buying a new one, a, a fancy expensive one because um I reached a Patreon goal after many, uh, many, 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 many uh, months, years. I don't know how long I've had it. I've had it for a long time, and I finally hit a certain uh, benchmark. And now, uh, as promised, I will be buying a fancier, uh, better microphone. And uh, so that'll be fun. Uh, Allow me to be the first to say congratulations on your money. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, The only other uh, goal on my Patreon is... um, not working my other job anymore so uh all right um so you know everything on the internet is is becoming sort of like pay what you want humble indie bundle stuff uh these days and so is my show um because i can't like expect everyone to like chip in for every episode so uh for those who do uh thank you very much that that is what keeps my lights on Um, and because the advertising economy collapsed because of everyone ad blocking yeah, um, it's even worse in January where we are now recording. Mm. Uh, it's it's just it's awful. So it's it's not going to be long before we start seeing Patreons for like big studios and television networks and things like that. Well, there's already where they're like there's already uh, crowd. Do you want to do you want to watch the next CSI? Well, that's going to be eighty cents, motherfucker. <laughs> I I mean uh, Sony already paired uh, with the fucking guy for Shenmue on Kickstarter, so. We're definitely getting to the, that yeah. point. Well, there's like I, I don't know if you guys get this in like in in the U.S., but there's this new service up in Canada. I see. I say new service. It's not really an old new service. It's an old service. It's Netflix with a different name. Only it's it's called it's called Show Me. All right. <laughs> that sounds a little and, sexier. But I mean, you know, but it, Show Me like they've spelt it funky, as if like as in like S H O M I. Show Me. Ooh. You know, and their their slogan is like they advertise TV shows, and then they're like, you know, they're like, "Ooh, look, it's Elementary," and then at the end, the guy goes, "Show me Elementary seasons one to three, exclusively on Show Me." And <laughs> did you, did you become Patrick Warburton at the end there? What was that? No, no, you know, just just a thing. <clears throat> but this is this is the thing about Show Me that I think is dangerous. All right. <laughs> yeah, blow the no. lid off this. Show Me is actually owned by one of the three largest telecommunications corporations in Canada. It's owned by Shaw Media. Like, Shaw Media makes their money mostly by selling internet connections, um, television, like, cable packages, and phone privileges, be that landline or mobile. So it's basically as if, like, Comcast got themselves a Netflix. Ah, uh, yeah. I know. I know where you're going with this. Basically, is the we're becoming uh, this scary monopoly thing and the uh, collapsing uh, uh, net neutrality. Because, uh, well, because the you know the thing was is that that Netflix in Canada uh, for a long time was was uh, really underserviced. It still is underserviced compared to American Netflix, but. Um, the reason why they, they didn't really beef it up was because Canadian people weren't buying into it because Netflix didn't really have that much uh, original content going on and Canadian internet laws are really heavily capped in terms of like how much you know uh, money it, it costs you to go over your data cap. Um, and, and so they, they had the opportunity to jump on this and they are paying through the nose – to American companies to get exclusivity for television shows and movies and things like that that don't show up on Netflix because they can afford to do that because not only are they providing you the internet on which you watch these things, but now they're also providing the content. 
I, sorry, I, like I, this is all on my mind because I had I had a conversation today with um, with a buddy of mine about where like how people go to get content is is being uh, uh, where it's going. I think because I think he told me that a CBS executive uh, said something about like Netflix is a um, um, what was it? He was like, Netflix is a, a, a fad, and people are going to be back to TV the way it used to be, or something like that. And and he was like, what? Like, you know, somewhere you there like, was a horse salesman who was like, man, I can't wait until these car things stop being so popular. Yeah, Any day yeah, now. Exactly, you know. But like the same, the same guy I was speaking to is like he he doesn't shy away from. Like watching anything, basically, um, uh, even if it's easy to grab legally through streaming or anything like that, he doesn't shy away from from like getting it illegally, pirating it, right? Yeah, I know people like that. We've talked about it before about how like um, somebody was giving away some free game and that people were still pirating it. Some people just prefer to pirate stuff. It's just like a pipeline they've set up. They like I have the the yeah. torrent pipeline open twenty four seven. I'm just constantly grabbing shit. And I, it's funny, I said to him, I said, well, you know, like, that means that we were talking about The Expanse, a TV show. I'm like, you know that The Expanse is probably going to get canned after, like, two or three seasons because people aren't watching it. He's like, tons of people are watching it. I'm like, yeah, but they don't have the numbers that people are watching it, and they don't have the money that comes from people watching it. He's like, yeah, but those numbers are really fucked up. And I'm like, yeah, do you know why those numbers are really fucked up? <laughs> because you're not watching it the way that they want you to watch it. <laughs> you're fucking it up. You're, you're part of the, yeah, you're part of the problem. Um, and he couldn't he couldn't wrap his head around this whole like we're we're on we're on a turning the corner we're about to get the internet that we asked for. Mm-hmm. I've been saying this man I feel super vindicated and also sad because I've been saying this for literally years like you can go back to the BT podcast like early episodes like what four years ago now and I've I've saying this shit. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I guess, it hurts. It hurts to be right, doesn't it, Austin? It it's bittersweet. Um, it hurts to be right and handsome and smart. It's hard. I uh, I don't know. It's a struggle I live with every day, and it never really gets easier. You just learn to deal with it. Um, but I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. To circle back around, though, I was looking at the stats, because we were talking about our wonderful listeners. You know, I was looking at the, the Dice Funk um, metrics, and we have like 15% of our listeners from the UK, like 10% from Germany, 10% from like... I think it was like the Netherlands or something. We're very like international. It's something like 50 is is like North America. I was very surprised. Uh, Austin, fucked up is an international language. <laughs> yeah, people really uh, uh, relate to our just being the worst. I feel it, it transcends the English language. It, it doesn't matter where you come from. You can always find somebody else who's kind of fucked up like you are. Which analytics are you looking at, uh, Austin? Uh, those were for my file hosting for the MP3, oh, okay. Pod being in iTunes and stuff. Yeah, you also have Dice Punk on YouTube, and that's separate. So yeah, something like uh, double whatever YouTube metrics you're getting. All right. Um, but Dice Punk's doing pretty well. Um, yeah, I, I like that people are digging it. Just despite us, <laughs> <laughs> people got past us to get to uh, the the wonder of Dungeons and Dragons. Thanks, guys. It's uh, good stuff. Uh, I have more stuff to say about that. We'll save it for the questions because someone asked I saw someone asked a dice punk question. I'll save it there. Leon, at the end of last week's episode, you said that you had a thing to say, but you didn't get time. Do you want to say it this week? Did I? What was the thing? Uh, apparently, you dipped your toe into a, a terrifying pool. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, it seems so long ago. Uh, because... <laughs> that was the old you. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, all right. Let's 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 get personal. Uh, um, <laughs> let's get sexy. Yeah. No, it's not sexy at all. Oh. Um, I don't know what you think is sexy, Leon, but I find a surprising number of awkward things pretty goddamn sexy. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, now I'm nervous. So, <laughs> <laughs> just feel like your eyes are on me, all over my body. No. Um. So, <laughs> what's going on? Uh. I, I, I've been single uh, for uh, a little over half a year now, since uh, early July of last year, um, and act- and it's actually kind of great because I'm getting a lot of stuff done. And- <laughs> <laughs> now that you don't have the ball and chain dragging you down, what are you trying to say? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I just mean- Austin, you get a lot of stuff done when you're in a relationship, when you're in a long term relationship, someone that you cohabit with. You get loads of stuff done. It's just none of that stuff that you get done. 
seems like stuff that you need to get done. Wow. It's it, it, it frightening, but also kind of true. <laughs> Relationship it's, it's like, insights from the three whitest people ever. No, no, I just mean that it's like your responsibilities change, you know, the, the, like the things that are necessary to your life completely alter. And this idea that you have of yourself as a person suddenly morphs, and it's like, no, you know, now you have twice as much laundry to do. <laughs> or the same amount of laundry, just, you know, twice as regular. Okay, and, and, all right, all right, let me... let me Hold on, those are some good insights into Johnny. <laughs> okay, let me let me circle back. Before I completely lose my train of thought. No, no. In all in all seriousness, I you know I I I actually feel really good. Um, it's it's not like a it's not a bad thing to be single at all. Um, but I also feel like um, it's another year now, and I'm not getting any younger. So I should probably you know try to uh, uh, court a woman. Um, <laughs> Oh my God, this is the worst. Johnny's like, yeah, when you're when you're in a relationship, you have to change their litter and stuff. <laughs> and then Leon's like, yeah, humans mating. Am I right? I actually I actually mentioned on my Facebook, um, and everyone was like, who says court anymore? And one and one guy says, if yeah. some, and someone says, if someone said they were courting me, I would find that really great. And I was like, yeah, well, I always say that. Um, uh, See, the proper response to that statement is. But yeah, anyway, I, I've been I haven't tried to meet anyone new since my twenties because that's what what how my life worked out. Um, and the, and uh, at the risk of being that old guy from the Shawshank Redemption, the world got itself in a big hurry, and uh, <laughs> like, it's all um, everyone kind of has like an OK Cupid uh, profile if they want a, a date. Um, I don't, I didn't want to do that, but I was like, I wonder what would happen if I would just make an OK Cupid profile and and see what would happen to me and my life um <laughs> I, I quick question yeah. quick question yeah. have you tried swiping right i hear that works with the kids these days i, I didn't want to do it on my phone because i felt that i would fuck it up uh, no, that's tin- first of all that's tinder you fucking oldsters oh i don't i don't know things i just i just used the one that a friend of mine said he used to meet uh his girlfriend that they are now a very happy couple but anyway, um, I, I I went to the website on uh, my computer on my desktop because that's how I do internet. Oh um, my god, this is this is the worst. I'm in hell. This is hell. <laughs> and um, I got stuck on the first screen for about a half an hour. Um, so that I, is that the one that asks you to like remember your login password because that always stumps me. No, no, no. It's the one that asks me my sexual orientation and gender. Luckily, there's a bunch of options and you can pick more than one. Anyway, um, so when that was done, I uh, went in and I was like, well, this is super awkward and everyone knows a lot of personal things about me right away. And um, it was just weird. So I said, I don't, I don't, I'll just look down this list of people. And um, click on someone. Uh, it's like, oh, look, that is a person r- roughly my age who lives in my area. And I clicked on this person. <laughs> You're like, those are both of my criteria. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, a human face and everything. And I was like, huh, interesting. And then I, I, I clicked back and started scrolling down again. And then a notification popped up and said that this person started looking at my profile. And I was like, no, this is weird, and I got the hell out of there and deleted my account. This um, is the worst Andy Rooney fucking sketch ever. What do you, <laughs> Leon? How do you how do you live? I can't. I can't. I don't want to do that. I don't. I don't think that I want that for me. At least not at this moment in my life. Um. So you know, of course. Okay, so you can look at them, but they can't look at you. No, what? no, no. It's just I, I, that's why under sexual preferences, he highlighted voyeur. That, that's why. No, was, Leon, Leon, current city. I don't know. <laughs> Gender. It's a mystery. What I'm trying to say is age, the enigma man. All right, all right. What I'm trying to say <laughs> is that, like, after se- se- setting this up, I immediately became really self conscious. And, mm-hmm. and um, the second the system told me someone was looking at me, I got like that feeling that you get when you're in a room with a bunch of people you don't know and someone is staring at you. 
and you're yeah. and you try to avoid eye contact because you don't know uh, what to do. And that's you're what, turning me on so much right now. <laughs> and that's what it felt like, but in an online way. Slower. I, slower. <laughs> Yeah, d- describe describe to me the color of their eyes as they stare at you. What kind of lighting is it? So, Are they breathing through their mouth? Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that I don't think uh, I'm ready for that kind of thing. Um, it sounds like you're just in the wrong generation because people my age, like th- that's the benefit of this kind of thing is that you can just know everything about somebody with a single like glance and we're, we're living in like this hypercritical sphere of like everyone there's a million reviews for everything like food places every type of media every Look, people I'm, I'm i'm i i don't want to be a luddite about this but the problem and and I've, I've said before like i love how the future turned out i love that it's not stupid um moon colonies and rocket packs and that everything's just super convenient and in little rectangles I love that's what the future is. It's but, a little bit more racist than I was expecting, but besides that. Yeah, we we still haven't gotten over that. But, but, but technologically speaking, I like how the future ended up being. At the same time, um, it, there there's also a kind of awkwardness that comes with that, especially when people already know a bunch of, or have to know, just based on how this website works, a bunch of things about me in order to even look at me. And I don't like that. I, I, I would rather ration out various uh, tidbits about myself to someone over the course of a long time so that it's not all that shocking. Uh, Is that what Leon, you're... have you tried? Okay, have you tried? Here's what you got to do. Yeah. Get yourself a JVC VHS camcorder. All right. Okay. Oh, no. Um, gr- grow a weird mustache. All right. <laughs> wear, wear a strange sweater. And then record a, like, five-minute, hi, I'm Leon, and I think I'd like to date you video, and then put it up on YouTube. Oh, my God. Shut up. That's the way people used to do it. There's that, that was, like, a thing, right, Johnny? That yeah. Oh, yes. Time. Yeah, people did video, video personal stuff. I, I understand that they're... That, uh, Just, I mean, you're, you're, on a mostly, you're on a mostly vegetarian diet these days. I hear you're getting ripped again. So just oil yourself up a little bit. You know, like start lifting a barbell that's like a little too small for you and then turn to the camera and be like, oh, hey, I didn't see you there. But don't stop lifting. OK. And then just be like, I just I just got to finish this set. That's like an anchorman joke. OK, first of all, I'm not getting ripped. I'm getting lean, which, which is which is not even remotely the same. I just mean I'm losing weight in, in a way that is, is pleasing to me. Uh, but, but Leon, you said you want to like you want to portion out personal details over a long period of time. That's what your podcasting career is, right? Right. Like I, Word Word Funk and BT Podcast are like a long personal ad. Like, hey, you want two hundred hours of me talking about like right. you, know, you know my what? small preferences and shit? I know, but that's what I'm saying. If someone wants to commit to <laughs> to learning about me, um, with like hours of like yeah, really like hundreds of hours uh, of podcasts. At the end of it, if you if you can't handle me in my BT podcast, you don't deserve me at my word funk. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a joke I just did. Um, um I feel no. like I we're not like trying to. I feel like we're making fun of you more than we mean to. Like we're, okay. ma- we're this is a no, funny subject, but we're I not going after you. I brought this on myself, so I, I yeah. you know, if I don't like it, I'll just cut all of it. <laughs> no, this is brilliant. Also, and it's twenty minutes. <laughs> That's true. Go ahead, go ahead. If you, go ahead. I don't. Care. No, I was just gonna say, can we lighten the burden on Leanne by embarrassing ourselves a little bit? That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Well, misery yeah, loves company. Be. If you have some uh, embarrassing, like romance-related <laughs> stories, I-, I will hear them. Um. <laughs> I was just thinking because I tried, I tried it once, right? Me and, too. Yeah, well, my experience is different. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, I sent a message, went on a date, and then was with that person for like seven months. Oh. So that was much more successful, there but about go. but about the same amount of time that we <laughs> committed to it, which was uh, like one one time, one unit of time. Okay. <laughs> um, but I actually am also single now so single high five leon oh okay yeah you can't (laughs) see but i put my hand to the microphone um all right well you know 
we're all going through ch- ch- changes. We we I did, I, I did internet dating for damaged people back in the nineties, <laughs> which, which I which I think they called Live Journal at the time. Okay, mm-hmm. let's hear it. Johnny was like you a know? Live Journal celebrity or some shit. I was not a live journal celebrity, no, but I did I did live journal and I did wind up actually getting a couple of dates out of it. Yeah, that's <clears> what I'm saying. It's the equivalent. But, you know, like I don't know if that's exactly the equivalent because there were live journal celebrities at the time. Which, in retrospect, now, like I really hope that we look back and say YouTube celebrity and Vine celebrity the same way that the word live journal celebrity comes across now. I already say it like that. I well, I mean, you know, but some people take it seriously. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I, I I did get like a couple of a couple of dates out of my live journal at at certain points in time, and I seem to recall using it at one point in time, like even like a a, a weird business card of like meeting somebody and like, oh well, if you'd like more about me, like to know more about me, perhaps you'd like to read my diary. <laughs> it's a, it's unusually bare in its divulgement of all the things that are wrong with me. <laughs> I like to imagine your profile was like likes, points in time. <laughs> I, 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 my live journal might still be up. Oh, Blake, um, please. I, well, no, this is the thing. I lost it. Um, I lost it beca- when in the great um, uh, Russian identity hijacking of online. Oh my um, god! Do people on for this show know about it? Because you've told the story before on other shows. Do we? Do our listeners now know about what was Svetlana? No, no. It, it, like, I guess they wouldn't know about Svetlana. <laughs> Johnny got his identity stolen by a Russian lady. It was a thing. It, it was. I, I remember it vividly. Yeah, it was. It was pretty weird. Uh, to this day, we still have no idea how it managed to happen. But um, what Austin is specifically referring to is when they got a hold of my Skype identity. Um. At the end of the whole thing, like, I think about just about the only online log information that I managed to retain possession of was my good old games account, my Steam account, my Amazon account, um, anything that had to do with money. They were a huge pain in the ass, but anything that had to do, like, they were very smart. They wanted to make my life, like, really, really painful and, and, and difficult to keep control of, but anything that had to do with my financial information, they stayed away from. That was very so, right? well, it, it was the thing was is that once they start taking your financial information, then it actually officially becomes a crime. But you know, when it's like, yeah, so somebody stole my email address, somebody stole my Skype, somebody stole my instant messaging privileges, somebody stole this, 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 and this, and this, like members to memberships to forums and sites and things like that. People are like, uh, what can I do about that? But um, but yeah, I, I I lost I lost my um, uh, my live journal to it. They haven't like erased it or anything like that. It still exists out there. So I mean, if if anybody's interested in like you know, hunt, trying to hunt down a live journal that they think belongs to me, it's it's out there, and uh, and you can read as far back as like 2001, I think. But uh, I stopped writing it at around 2010. But, but yeah, I would I would pass my live journal around, and I mean, there's tons of fucking embarrassing shit on that now, and and just like I mean, you know, I shouldn't say embarrassing because you know, although I am embarrassed by it, I'm also still kind of like, well, you know, I was young, grr, and stupid. So you know what the first thing that comes up when I Google Johnny Maloney live journal? And what's that? The Wasteland Two wiki in which you are a character. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on the internet. There you are. Oh, uh, Johnny. All right. Uh, do you have any more embarrassing? Let's. Can we ruin ourselves for the women of the world publicly? I can, I can ruin myself as much as you guys like. I mean, I'm I'm with a woman of the world right now. So as long as she's not in the room, and she's not. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's <laughs> let's let's go. You looked around like shit. Oh my god! Well, you know, I just wanted to make sure. I mean, you know, you never know when somebody's looking over your shoulder. They're very sneaky. Actually, let's go back. We said we were going to circle back. What the hell were you talking about? So you do your partner's laundry, and you consider that to be what now? What's happening with that sentence? No, no, no. I'm I, what I'm. All I'm suggesting is is that your responsibilities change. Like it, you know, the thing is is that like things that are even a part of your life multiply and densify, and then you get new responsibilities as well. Things that you maybe haven't necessarily considered doing, like. 
all of the when I talk about food to you guys, this is all stuff that I've picked up because I'm in a relationship. Like this is not you know like fucking eight years ago, eight years ago, way different. Eight years ago, I would have like a, next to no knowledge of of sous vide cooking, of like you know cured meats and 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 what? particular musts. What the difference between aiolis and things are? Yeah, you know like I, this is knowledge I have accrued. I thought connoisseur Johnny was your primal inner Johnny. That is just a a, a girlfriend after. Affectation? You wait. You're wearing no. like a coat. No, 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 it's, son. It's, this is like you have to learn uh, new things as you get into a relationship with someone, and also in in a good way, you learn things from your partner. That's that's yeah. You rub off yeah. on each other. I'm just saying. I thought cooking Johnny was essential, <laughs> Johnny. I thought that was like no. I, 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 I have, ideal. I have a lot there's of a, there's a pr- there's a primal cooking Johnny deep down in there somewhere that I like. I did not recognize when I was a younger man until I had like too many beers, to where I would be like. I want some rice. And then suddenly, like, 90 minutes later, I have paella, and I'm like, what happened? And then I would wake up the next morning and, like, eat leftovers and be like, this is really good. Who made this? Oh, my God. I did. The call but, is coming and, from inside the Johnny. Yeah, you know, so, but there's, there's, there are a bunch of skills and, and, and things about myself now. Like, you know, I, um, Stephanie is a psychology student. She's, she's aiming to be a psychologist. Hanging around a psychologist for like a good third of your day at the very least, fuck, that rubs off on you. You learn things, things that you didn't know about yourself, things that you didn't know about social structures, things that you didn't know about social movements. It's... That's how you got indoctrinated with SJW-ness. <laughs> we, we found the source Actually, of the infection. You know, like probably, probably mostly, to tell you the truth. Like if if I had to, if I had to be completely honest about it. And it leaked through the internet to us, Leon. Johnny was patient zero. Okay, my politics come kind of from like reading lots and lots of stuff. Um, <laughs> You're like I just use logic in my brain. So I'm, no, I just, no, no, I don't. I don't, mean, I don't mean it like that at all. What I'm, I'm trying to say is, um, my uh, former partner and I don't always agree on everything. <laughs> that was very diplomatic of you. I like, right, I like right. the uh, most, most carefulness. Most. I was. I'm a very. I'm a, I was very liberal beforehand, but I like. I got to admit to having a lot of blank spots. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's sort of that's uh. Uh, I think I think I've been become a uh, better I want to say person over the past like four years or so. Um, it, it, the uh, how do I put this? I feel like I'm a little different than I was during the episode one of the BT podcast. <laughs> so <laughs> you were an entirely different. I invited you on the BT podcast because I heard an episode of Heart of Gaming where like the big joke was about you. F- and I was like, "Yes, this is the this is the sense of humor I want to represent my site." Yeah, but that 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 was uh, not only is my sense of humor different. That was a character. So, <laughs> if you still wrote it. But the point was that it was not. To, never mind. I, I know. Anyway, the show is a constant battle to keep it, all all the fun shit. Yeah, the, the point. I guess the point I, I I was trying to make when we started this conversation and got all over the place is I'm actually pretty cool uh, being by myself. Um, but, uh, you know, I can't, I, I shouldn't get too comfortable with it is what I'm trying to say, because if you get comfortable being by yourself, which is what I was for many years, um, well, not many years, but like no long-term relationships, uh, prior to being married, uh, for many years, then you get, you get too used to it. So maybe sometime this year I should start, uh, looking around. You would think that, uh, you would think that, uh, MAGFest would be a great social setting for me to like look around, but uh, mostly I'm just ha- going to be hanging out with all of my friends, all of which are pl- platonic. So <laughs> that, that, that that's probably not going to be a thing. Are you telling um, me there's no renegade cut groupies? <laughs> I have a hard time believing that. No, I think no, I no. think there may I mean, there be, people... but but I think there may be, but Leon would probably have an ethical problem tapping that resource. Uh, <laughs> it would be it would be odd. Um, you you how do I put this? People who are fans of Channel Awesome have become my friends. All right. Get yourself a T-shirt that says in what looks like spray-painted colors or like kind of a blood splatter white on the front that says love is a killer. All right. <laughs> and you get a fedora. I don't, no, I don't no, know where this joke no. is going. I just wanted to throw no that fedora. in No fedora. Just, just a scarf. 
All right, just a scarf. You can wear a long sleeve shirt over the t-shirt, but make sure you, everybody can always see Love is a Killer. And then just lean up against corners. And when people, like, walk near you and seem to recognize you, look away and sigh. <laughs> oh, God, this is terrible. Um, <laughs> it's going to do a lot for your image. Just, just going to walk in with my regular clothes and spend time with my friends. Uh, Are you- that, that's my plan. So that you think that they're into the culture of Channel Awesome, the whole like I re- I really hate the term reviewer sphere. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a but... term. <laughs> Don't say that. No, I've seen people, people use say it before. Reviewer sphere or review averse. Sometimes. No one's ever said that. Yeah, they. Did. I yeah, I they have know. Austin. I'm I'm sorry, but this is the world that we live in. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, my body rejected that word. <laughs> No, no. Um, I mean, my colleague, my colleagues, and I talk about our work because we, we, it's, it's our work. Um, but the people I have met through, um, through Channel Awesome, but who do not work at Channel Awesome, almost never mention uh, my show to me. Um, which is fine because, but, uh, but that, but the point I'm trying to say is, they're not fans; they're friends. They just, they just exist in the same social setting that I am in. I think all Leon. <laughs> Yeah. You movie really well. <laughs> Thanks. I think all people can be divided into like several categories. There's friends. Yeah. Fans. Fish and food. I think that was Finding Nemo. Where they <laughs> discovered where they discovered that. I don't know what that I've seen it once, but no, I I, I did not get that reference until you oh. said it. I'm sorry. Oh, um man. Anyway, do you want to answer questions, or are we just going to make this the saddest, most embarrassing thing that's ever happened on the internet? Oh no, I mean, I we can. I mean, we haven't talked about like um, Nintendo or the Oscars, but you know, fuck it, let's just do uh, questions. <laughs> yeah, let's just run through the news real quick. Nintendo's cool, Suicide Squad looks okay, and uh, fuck the other thing. So, <laughs> questions? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Nintendo's cool. Suicide Squad looks. <laughs> It looks. I, I, I'm, how do I put this? I'm significantly more interested in it than Batman v Superman as, just as a, a film fan. Uh, I'm only looking forward to Batman v Superman in the sense that I, I'm looking forward to talking about it. Yeah. But there's I, gonna, you just know there's going to be a scene because they're introducing all those characters. There's going to be a scene where like the colonel with the scar on his face is like in a room and then someone walks in and is like, give me their dossiers. And he's like, hey. This one's sword guy. He's really good with swords. This one's punch guy. The guy likes to punch, and he should, because he's pretty damn good at it. This guy's croc guy, because he's a croc guy. Oh, my God. I tried to blow past the story specifically to avoid this happening. Okay. It's, I'm done. I'm All right, done. Thank you. Anyway, okay, uh, Josephina, uh, old school fan from Heart of Gaming, actually, um, says, Star Trek or Sandwich? Assume both are the best available type. The answer you don't pick dies. Um, all but, sandwiches, like the, yeah, all sandwiches all, die. Yep, all, all sandwiches. All, Star, all sandwiches. Um, I would. How do I put this? I like Star Trek enough that I would be willing to have like pita stuff from now on. <laughs> uh, so I, I guess I pick. Bear in mind that that means hot dogs too. Hot dogs. <laughs> are <laughs> well. yeah, I guess it's fair. <laughs> You son of a bitch. Yeah. Um. I'll. I'll I mean, I. I could eat like a million other things, but there's only one Star Trek. I mean, you. If I mean, you. You. People. People would try to make like a, a. If Star Trek suddenly had to die because I chose a sandwich, um, people would try to make something that's like Star Trek, but it still wouldn't be Star Trek. So I would pick Star Trek. I know Austin doesn't care about Star Trek, so I assume you want sandwiches, Johnny. <laughs> Bye, Kirk. <laughs> But, yeah, I guess I guess this is a question almost specifically tailored for me, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I gotta go sandwich. Okay, I know, I know how much you love the meats. So it's not even it's not even a case of meats. Like, I mean, I like to bake my own bread now, you know. And do you, do you know what kind of torture it would be to have a fresh loaf of bread, and like an artichoke tapenade and like caramelized onions and and a, a, a like caseless pork sausage just begging to be like I couldn't do it man I would throw myself out a window and no amount of captain's logs would save me from that you're I'm sorry I'm I'm sorry trekkies but you're a psycho Johnny <laughs> it's just it would be it would be babylon 5 for the rest of the the rest oh, of it oh, that's, God. That's, 
No, that's not that good. Um, okay. And the expanse. Yeah, all right. Yeah, let's see. Um, what kinds of feet? Oh, um, uh, oh this is from uh, uh, Pollyanna uh, at Heaven Chai. Uh, also, like known this person uh, quite a while. Um, says, what kinds of feats of physical plus mental endurance have you guys put yourselves through? Well, once I watched all five Twilight movies in a row, um, mm-hmm. and tweeted about it. Um, I don't really put myself through a lot of uh, physical endurance except, like, at my work, which which is, like, mild physical endurance. Um, you know, I, I don't uh, – my body – Johnny, like, jo- joked earlier that I'm getting all ripped. No, I, I, I just, I'm just kind of wiry, and I, I like it that way. Don't, don't listen to him. I've seen pictures. He's totally full-blown. <laughs> no, I mean, shredded. I, 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 Jesus. I apparently have like broad shoulders, people say, but beyond that, I I I do not look like like a guy, and that's fine. Um, uh, Johnny, you might have some like like masculine stories to tell. <laughs> awesome. My my black belt test was nine and a half hours long. There you go. All right. Were were, were you constantly punching, or were you punching and then kicking? Um, the only part of it that I would consider to be a small break, um, was when we got to the grappling section, mm-hmm. <clears throat> which was and probably some, I broke his arms, which, which was probably somewhere between 60 and 90 minutes. Um, there were four of us taking the test, but because my, my grandmaster, um, wanted to make sure that he was like watching every detail, he would only have one pair go at a time. Okay. So if, you know, he would be like, okay, how do we get out of a headlock? How do we respond to a headlock? Then, you know, you'd get up there and you'd, you'd do your bit. And if it was good, he'd maybe ask you to do it one more time and then move on to the next guy. Hmm. Uh- and during, during the test, I was partnered up with this other guy that I had been training with. And we were training like five days a week with one of these days exclusively dedicated to doing the grappling stuff because when it comes to martial arts unless you're at a like a very grappling specific style everybody ignores the grappling stuff because the rest of it's exciting the jumping the kicking the blocking the punching like you know it's it's high impact and movement and it it gets the blood pumping so we would get up on the mat and, you know, like, he would get out of a full Nelson once or twice, and then I would get out of a full Nelson once or twice. And then the other two guys, who had not been training as much as us, would get up there. So we'd get a couple of minutes where we would sit down. Um, that was not necessarily the best for me, though, because you sit down. This is at, like, hour four or five. Like, we were well exhausted and winded by the time we get on to this stuff. And then afterwards you have to get up again and do more kicking and jumping and punching and, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so your muscles cool down and you start to tense up and then, you know, you need to get back up and, and continue. Like I, what's worse is that I, I did it on, I think four hours of sleep too. Oh, the whole thing. It was it was in the middle of the summertime, and we were supposed to do it start on a Saturday morning because these things usually take all day, nine and a half hours, go figure. Um, so we were supposed to do it on the Saturday, and it was it was the Friday I was at work, and I was I got a phone call in the middle of the day. It was the middle of like July, um, and I got a phone call from him. And he's like, I like I, I imagine you've noticed how hot it is outside today. I was like, yeah. He says, well, it's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow, the day we're supposed to take the test. And to his credit, that was not only a hotter day, but it was also the hottest day that year where I was living. And he said, I don't think it's a good idea to have four guys pass out in the school from heat stroke. So I'm thinking about changing the time of the test. And I said, oh, absolutely, that's fine with me. And he says, great, I'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock. Oh. I I grapple you, Johnny. Johnny, I uh, I know you would. Johnny, uh, I have three questions. One, how many times did you say ki? Um, Zero. Okay. How many slow motion jumping roundhouse kicks were there? Um, In total, there were probably about 80 uh, jumping roundhouse kicks. Okay. 
Um, and they probably started at, like, maybe hour six in the test, so I'm going to imagine that most of them were probably in slow motion. Okay. And, uh... Not, not through any camera trick, of course, just through, like, muscle Exhaustion. fatigue. Okay. Uh, yeah. th- a third question. At the very end, did you, like, put both of your arms in front of you, scream, and then the words blood sport appeared over your head? No, no, actually. At the very end, what happened was, is I was lying face down on the ground. Oh. Um, in a pool of my own sweat, trying to do 24 more push-ups, okay. whispering to myself in a kind of like weird haze that I'm like, it's just 24 push-ups. You can do 24 push-ups. You've done 24 push-ups a fucking 100 times. 24 push-ups is nothing. Like, 24 push-ups is... You could eat... You could do 24 push-ups before breakfast. You could do 24 push-ups in the shower. You could throw a rubber ball in the air, do 24 push-ups, and catch it before it hit the ground. <laughs> Thump! 23 push-ups. It's just 23 push-ups. <laughs> oh, fourth, um, fourth question. Can you do a Kamehameha? Um... No, no. Yeah, what's, but the I can, what's the I can point? What's the point? I can do a pretty convincing impression of a of a Kamehameha. Kamehameha. <laughs> what about a Hadouken? But, but, can you Hadouken? Um, I can Hadouken actually. Finally, something I can really. But to. I swore never to. <laughs> okay. Um. For, 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 thank you. Uh, Austin, do you have any uh, uh, similar stories, or did Johnny just kill it? I mean, I did high school football in Florida, so it was 105 degrees, and we ran in fucking armor for five hours every day. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't envy you that, son. And I used to dig ditches for a living in the same weather, uh, doing irrigation and landscaping. One time, I That's passed, right. I just lost consciousness once. Literally. Yeah, I think you told us that story, and you got docked pay for it too. Yeah, I got screamed at. It was not great. All right. Um. Next uh, response is not a question. Um, That's my favorite kind of question. I know. It's like, it's, you don't even understand. It's not even a word. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very strange. I said, uh, word funk questions, go. And someone responded, WWE. Oh, that's the wrestles. No, no, I know what it is. I'm saying that it's <laughs> not a question or a statement or a request. It's a topic. Sometimes I say questions and topics. Well, so I, I th- know. I'm very explicit about the fact that I want it to be an interrogative. But, <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, Leon, you used to be – I remember this. Because... Yeah, yeah. I used to watch wrestling quite a bit. I, I liked it a whole lot. I haven't watched it in years, and I can't possibly say anything about it now. Uh, yeah, I knew a lot of people growing up who were really into wrestling. It's a big thing with American males in the South. But I never really clicked with me, like either as fiction. I didn't think it was particularly well written. And while I guess it was impressive athletically, I preferred like actual athletic competition where the outcome isn't decided. So n- neither angle really ever got me. But I mean, I know about it. Like I know people's names and some moves and stuff, but I don't have any insight. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, anything you want to say in response to J. Rowe saying WWE in my timeline? All I know is is that if you Google Johnny plus Glamour Shot <laughs> and and then go to images, the first thing is pretty much everything that informs my knowledge of wrestling. Okay. Um, all right, uh, Austin, why don't you uh, give us some of your questions? Hold on, I have I have to Google Johnny Glamour Shot real quick. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. You like, <laughs> well, you're just gonna let that one go? Oh, I'm Leon? sorry. No, I'm like, no. Oh, it's Glamour with a U too. By the way, the way that they they regularly spell it. It's the guy with the pink boa. <clears throat> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, that's per- perfect. Nailed it. That's 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 everything that I know about wrestling right there. Oh and that's my also God. The, that's also the title card now. Um, <laughs> oh, it's it's um that's that's um uh, uh um Johnny B. Bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I I, I don't remember uh, exactly if he's ever. No, it just says glamour shots on Pinterest. Um. Johnny, why, yeah, but that's, why did you Google Johnny Glamour Shots? Were, were you looking for Glamour Shots of yourself? No, I own all the Glamour Shots of myself. Are you like, Jesus, Austin, don't be stupid. I don't know why, what's happening right now. Like, why what, did you what, Google what, that? What brought you to that? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> aren't you guys just curious sometimes? Yeah, I... I... <laughs> You're busted. <laughs> No, I, I've, I've Googled myself, but mostly it's uh, – I, I don't look for pictures of – never mind. You know what? 
No, I, I don't. There, are, there are like nearly no pictures of me on the internet. Right. You know, ex- except for ones that I've, I've kind of controlled. Like, there's, there's a couple <laughs> of photos. Controlled of me. burn. No, no, it's true. I just, you know, I was kind of curious, maybe if anybody had some glamour shots of me that I was not aware of. So. Okay. I, I like your hubris that you thought with a name like Johnny you would be <laughs> <laughs> the first page of results. Obviously, I mean, why not? No, I, your your confidence is uh, impressive. There's a strong chance that the title is going to be Johnny Glamour Shots. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just want that to be known. Um, Austin, go right ahead with uh, with your quest. Oh God! So we had uh, someone asked us our gym sonas. Someone asked us our fur sonas, and now J- Jim Bevan completes the humiliation by asking, "Who is best waifu?" I don't know what that means. You know what that means? Johnny, do you know what a waifu is? I'm only vaguely. I don't think I'd be qualified to define it. That's that's anime speak for, like, uh, video game or anime girl character who's your imaginary wife. Yeah, that's, that's I suppose, what I figured. <laughs> so, who wants, to, who wants to jump in front of this bullet? Wait, wait, wait. It, I, is the question um, if, if I could have a, a partner who is an animated person who would it be basically <laughs> oh um gosh i don't know <laughs> leon's never even considered it right because it's not possible due to, due to dimensions <laughs> um due to dimensions <laughs> uh, <laughs> i mean i guess i mean i guess i could like uh cool world it and turn into a a a, a, a doodle uh, which is what Brad Pitt does at the end. Oh my um, God, Leon! The question is not asking you the physics of fucking someone in 2D. It's just asking like your gross <laughs> subjective opinion about cartoon girls. Okay, no, I'm, I'm thinking. It's just the um. You're trying to work out like the equation. You're like, yeah, maybe if I squished it, it would. F- I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, all right, let me think of cartoons I like. Um, there's a bunch, but uh, none, none for 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 whom I uh I already I made a joke like a year and a half ago about Tharja from Fire Emblem being my wife too and I was fucking publicly eviscerated uh for being a, a disturbing weeaboo which is that's fair you got me guys All right. nailed it so I think I already have my answer uh I I don't and also I refuse so <laughs> No, you aren't you aren't playing fairly on you gotta play by the rules. Alright, um I, I think I'm trying to think of cartoons I watch. Um Look, like easy mode is just say Jessica Rabbit and yeah, then no, I, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to be married to Jessica Rabbit. She seems like uh, there's uh, there's a lot going on there. And <laughs> I just I don't know. I, I, I find that uh we wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Leon, I know your answer. What? I know I know you better than you do. What? Uh Gadget hack wrench. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Call back. Yeah. Was, was that this show? No, no, no. That was the that was the BG oh, cast. Okay. What is what is she like a chipmunk? No, she's a mouse. Okay. I don't. I've seen like that show when I was a kid. I don't actually remember it that well. I like I like that I was like briefly offended that you didn't you didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, Miss? For, for some reason, too, this is the second conversation I've had all day about the Rescue Rangers. Here. <laughs> what was the first conversation about, if you don't mind my asking? The Rescue Rangers. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean what brought it up and in what context? But... We were talking. We were talking about the Disney Afternoon. Oh, okay. Um, for some reason, I, like I, I don't remember how we got onto the subject. I don't know how we get into uh, our subject. <clears throat> All right, um, I mean, we just fall into them. We're in perpetual yeah. disturbing freefall. You have to have an answer, though, Leon. I'm not going to let this go. Uh, all right, let me look at the list of shows that I watch on television because I keep a list because uh, I I uh, find that I shouldn't watch very many, and uh, <laughs> it, 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 I I think I should limit myself. Okay. Um, and also, don't. Don't think you're getting off easy, Johnny. Let me see. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm not getting off. I, I'm nobody's nobody's getting off. Okay, honestly. nobody. No. Um. Let, uh. Let's see. Um. Oh. Uh. Pearl from uh from Steven Universe. I think Bird she, Mom. 
I, I, I think she would be really nice. And uh, we, we were both uh, like sort of uh, fastidious about certain things. Uh, so that would work, I guess. There. That's, I, I, I tried to answer it, and I kind of did. Um, <clears throat> at first, like, my first thought was that, like, um, because I'm a dirty bastard, um, <laughs> yeah. my, my, my first thought was, like, that I, I could never really decide in The Witcher whether or not I was a Triss or a Yennefer guy. Mm-hmm. The, cl- the classic, um, shit, what the fuck is that? Uh, Betty and Veronica for our age. It, oh, oh man, you know, like, that was a real, so I've just decided to jump right off the boat and go with 2nd Lieutenant Mira from Warhammer 40k Space Marine. <laughs> Is that the same boat? I don't. Uh, no, that's like that's way off that boat. That's like that's something that's something completely different because Second Lieutenant Mira was badass, uh, and neither of you have played that game. So eat it, bitches! No. You can't say shit about it in your face. Uh, guess who's googling? Oh, Google away! Wait, what is the name of this person? I think I found it. What? Is... Second, yeah, Mira M I. R A, yeah. Warhammer 40k. Second lieutenant. <laughs> Mira. Okay. I mean, yeah, I see her. I don't know. Like, obviously, I can't get a like good sense of the personality. But this, there's not a lot here to like. It's not like gross fetish shit that I was hoping to dunk on you about. This just looks like a normal person. She looks very severe. Ish. Yeah. Um. Oh God. Like. The first page, there's, like, someone's, like, pervy fan art of it. Not that I have anything against, you know, expressing yourself artistically. I'm just saying that this doesn't seem like the – how do I put this? She looks really professional in these uh, pictures. Like, she, she, she's there to get stuff done. And, like, the first fan art is just her, like, unbuttoning her shirt. And she says, what does the Codex Astartes – Wait, no, no. <laughs> I didn't get any pervy art. Do you have your safe search off? No, it's well, always, of course. <laughs> what safe? What safe search? What are you? Talking about? <laughs> That's also a good episode title. What, what are you talking it's, about? It's the thing that keeps porn from showing up when you use the internet. I, I, li- I don't. Li- I'm not at work. What are you I am. <laughs> I work. Oh. This is my work like station i mean i i mean I, I i'm i'm at work in the sense that my office at home is where i work but you can't, I, leon you can't mix working and jerking I, i'm not i'm just saying that i've i, I never even <laughs> i've never wait does does safe search come on by default or does not safe search come on by default it, it probably depends on the like I don't know, fucking browser. Who All right, knows? I, I'm, the ways. What I'm trying to say is, I've never like the, Google has never said, "Hey, do you want to do this or do you want to do that?" I just turn on Google. Is what I do like how Johnny totally dodges this bullet. We spent like ten minutes raking Leon over the coals, and then he just threw one out there. We're like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, I know. It's, she, she, I mean, Done. She looks like she has a career, and that's good. Um. All oh, right. Yeah, she's a military woman. Yeah. Imperial Guard, and. uh no slack either. Like, like pretty. Hold on. Pretty good at her job. Hold on. There are jokes here. Hold on. <laughs> give, give me a minute. No. Um. But yeah. Thanks for this, Jim. Question asker, Jim. Yeah. Really, really nailed us on that yeah. one. Um. You this wanna... whole episode has just been a sexual humiliation circus. Yeah. Um... I think I'm coming away okay. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny's like, yeah, I do a bunch of push-ups, and I'm into normal chicks, so. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really uh, put my neck out here uh, on this episode, and I do not think it paid off at all. Uh, I mean, I, I got, I got some, I got <laughs> some shrapnel. <laughs> I think, I think you're, I think you're doing okay, Leon. You'll be all right. All right. Um, next question. Okay. <laughs> you said that like really reluctantly. Yeah. Uh, Andreas asks if you could go to mainland uh, to a mainland European country of your choice for a paid culture holiday, which and why? So where do you guys want to go in Europe? To me, it all seems too cold. I don't know I would like any of it. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sure all of your countries are beautiful and socialist and good. Uh, too cold. Too cold for me. Okay. It was like 30 this morning, and I was just like miserable. The worst. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Gosh. 
mainland. So that means I can't go to the, the, the British Isles then anywhere. Listen, uh, you're the master of your destiny, Leon. If you if you want to go outside the parameters of the question, <laughs> if you want to be a rebel, question rebel. Oh, God. Um. Well, having been to Eastern Europe, I never want to go back there. Um. I guess somewhere in the middle? Uh, <laughs> Mid-Europe. Central Europe. Yeah. Uh, like somewhere I, I I don't know um somewhere where I have something to do because I I don't want to just go to a place where I'm going to be sightseeing that does not interest me uh I I, I lived in uh, South Korea for a while and there were people always saying oh you should see the sites I'm like I don't I don't care I don't need to see the giant statue I know it exists and they, I, I I don't need a picture of it there are already pictures of it I don't need to be in it um. So I, 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 I never really do stuff like that. I would go to a place where there is something for me to do. Um, isn't there a Disneyland in France? I'd probably do that. I'd probably go to, uh, I'd probably go to, uh, France because they have a... I feel like I heard rumors that it closed down. Oh, Euro Disney closed? I, I heard rumors, I thought, but maybe not. I'm gonna... if, on, if only we could Google it. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, it's actually called Disneyland Paris. Uh, maybe it was previously called something else. No, it used to be called Euro Disney. Yeah. Disneyland Paris, uh, well, it still has a uh, website, so it must exist. Um, yeah. yeah it's, it seems like it's a financial failure, but it's still existing. Okay, I, then I would probably go there, and for really American reasons. <laughs> Ooh, discover the new Jedi Training Academy. Gosh, now I do want to go. <laughs> this has been a very Google-heavy episode. Johnny, <laughs> do, you, do you have a, an answer for your, your European vacation? Um... Hmm. You know, I think I might, might like to visit one of the Scandinavian countries. They seem super dope. They're just too cold. <laughs> I like it's it, because they they always kind of like fall to the side when everybody talks about like European culture and things like that. But I think it'd be cool to like spend some time in Finland. All right. Taste all their their weird fish. They have... I would love to taste the weird fish. <laughs> they have the weird fish. All right, next question. Marcus Williams asks, in your opinion, who played the best Joker? Oh, that's gosh. A, that's uh, a really good question. Mark Hamill. Oof. There are, there's so many different, like, the Joker is not one character, right? Like, Jack Nicholson's yeah. Joker is nothing like Heath Ledger's Joker, and they're both super cool in their own way. Mm. My my feeling about Mark Hamill's um uh, version of the Joker. I mean, part of it is his voice, but also just the way it is written. He's written to me. How do I put this? He's written more like comic book character Joker, where he he. How do I put this? He he's he's a big cartoon, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't mean it because it's a cartoon. I mean he he cracks a lot of jokes and he kills a lot of people and. <laughs> And there's no like, there's no like, um, Batman trying to unravel the mystery of the Joker. Like in, um, like, like there's no scene, uh, in, um, Batman the Animated Series where Alfred Pennyworth is like, he, I can't do the impression. So I'm a, he's not going to say some Ben just watched the world burn. No, it's just oh, Master Bruce, get him, and then he does. <laughs> 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 there's, I think there's a benefit to calling Mark Hamill too, because not only do you get like the the jokester and and the japester of the animated series, but you also get the Rocksteady video games, where there's a significant amount of menace that the Joker has too. Okay. It's a shame he's not called the japester. <laughs> that, that would really change the uh, the tone of a lot of the the Batman. Characters. Yeah, yeah, there would be the, a little less gravity to the situation um i think i think the heath ledger performance is the most powerful for what it is but it's also only like a half an hour of screen time where mm. hamill has like hours and hours and hours to his name so i think that just in totality is more valuable but yep. if we're talking about like lightning in a bottle like heath ledger did w- w- with what he had was yeah. fantastic but although i'm i'm not sure you know like if if you threaten to take away from me Jack Nicholson yelling this town needs an animal I I might be like no 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 I'll pay real money for that to stay in reality please Yeah Nicholson and I'll shout out to Cesar Romero for being G that guy is fucking great but yeah. you can't 
Uh, it's so hard. There's been so have many. We ever, have we ever had like a really bad Joker? Ooh. Um, what about the the comic where he was in the Yakuza? <laughs> I know that's not a performance, <laughs> but there's plenty of bad comics. But in terms of like bad Joker performances, I mean, I haven't seen Gotham. Oh, I got it. Jared Leto. Damn. Yeah, we haven't seen it. Yeah, you can't do that. Nope. Too late. I already burned him. Can't unburn him once I burned him. He might be good. Um, I'm not digging the Pat Riley hair, but uh, beyond that, you know. Um, I mean, I, I'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah. Uh, next question, I guess, and then we'll, we'll, we'll wrap up. Um, I got a couple questions we can't really answer. Like Alexis David asks about Life is Strange. I don't think any of us have played it. No. And Dawn asks about Undertale. I have played it, but you guys haven't. I don't think you want me to sit here and talk to myself. Oh, please, dude, please don't spoil anything about Undertale to me. No, I'm both of those games are on my two playlists. Yeah. Undertale, 10 out of 10, play it. Life is Strange, uh, not 10 out of 10, but worth playing, I guess, that's all. I, I own it. <laughs> cool. Uh, I, uh, I started playing um, a game uh, Johnny gave me uh, called um, Dark Dreams Don't Die. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Suda, not Suda. Um, sweary. Sweary. Yep. Sweary. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's intentionally broken um, <laughs> or what. But uh, it's it's hard to do stuff. But um, I, I, it was originally supposed to be a game for the Kinect that uh, oh that, that came to the PC. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, you might find the you might find the the movement interface to be a little obtuse. It's not I, it's uh, not just that. I'm I'm finding I'm having frame rate issues on a game that doesn't even seem that graphics intense. It's that deadly mm. premonition jank, son. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just I thought you would jive with the style and I, the humor. I'm 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 liking aspects of it. If I can get it to work, <laughs> I, I, I will have more to say later, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, I just I I don't know what what I'm looking at most of the time. Um. Yeah, that sounds like a sweary sixty five game. Yeah. All right. Um. Do we want to do one more question before we go? Are we short on time? Not super short on time. I just don't know if we have anything else to say. We talked before the show that we would talk about the Oscars. Um, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> it was uh, just, uh, there's a controversy about the racial diversity of it. There is none, right? No, I know. Um, that, <laughs> yeah, there is none. Yeah, that 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 sucks and it's stupid. Um, but it's not okay. Look, uh, I'll try to make this as short as humanly possible. The Oscars are a symptom of the problem. They are not the source of the problem. We have a cultural like issue with the way that we employ uh, people of color, and it's super fucked up. And the Oscars simply reflect that. They are not like the puppet masters. No, I I, I agree that it's more a symptom. Uh, ra- but I also feel like this is a huge, huge show and a huge, huge deal. And in doing that, it perpetuates it. So mm-hmm. I I don't think I don't think I I can keep can sort of let them off by saying, well, they're just they're just the symptoms when they are uh, reinforcing it. If that makes sense. But guys, the academies aren't racist anymore. Twelve Years a Slave won it. Yeah, yeah. me and. Was it like last year or the year before where the the one juror person said that they didn't vote for the Studio Ghibli movie because it was some stupid Chinese thing? <laughs> yeah. And uh, their kid so really liked uh, Big Hero 6? Fuck that. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I thing is um, I don't trust the uh, big giant uh, machine that chooses these things because it's all sort of done secretly. Whenever I hear like a, a, a news story from a, an entertainment website that says uh, a source says that he only chose this because of this, you don't hear the names. You never mm-hmm. hear these names of all the people who are choosing what they're choosing. Um, and that's fine. I mean, voting in general, <laughs> you know, is a secret ballot as well. But I also feel like you know, maybe, maybe it shouldn't matter because it shouldn't matter, but um, the, we, we've given it enough importance that it, it has to a little, if that makes any sense. It, it would be it would be wonderful to live in a world where it didn't matter, but given history and the way that we've kind of manipulated things into the way that they currently are in the present, there's a there's a weight to these decisions, yeah. and there's certainly not enough like clarity in things like diversity that allow us to say, oh, well, you know, we don't have to worry about that because it's all in the past. 
It's got heavy. Um, yeah. you want, anyone want to say anything stupid before we go? Banjo Scorpion! <laughs> yeah, Ingmar Gremmen asks, if Anne dies in Dice Funk, will Austin start playing as Marshmallow? And if so, who gets to ride him? Yeah, I, I feel like we answered this before, that, um... Uh, what makes you think that if Anne dies in Dice Funk, I'm not going to crush Marshmallow, too? <laughs> Holy shit. So, the way that Marshmallow works as my ranger companion, uh, like, it, it's part of Anne's character as a ranger, so if she dies, like, presumably Marshmallow will, like, run back into the wilderness or whatever, having been freed from his contract. Although, if she makes it out alive. Or, sorry, is Marshmallow a he? We never established this. Oh, I definitely established it. Marshmallow is a man, or All right. a male. I established that specifically. Here's a fun fact you guys are going to learn today. <laughs> oh, great. Female ferrets, uh, when they go into heat, if they don't mate, they die. Their bodies just turn off. They drop stone dead. That's, That's a weird... Huh? Yeah, they, so they have, like, the pond far where they absolutely have to. They have to, or they just die. It's really weird. So, like, um, yeah, unless you're a breeder, you want a male ferret. And and so Marshmallow is just going to get boners? <laughs> I don't want to think about his boners, but yeah. All right, so you know about female ferret heat, but one question about a female, about a ferret's dink, and you're like, I don't know. I don't know. I hadn't thought about <laughs> I didn't, that part. I didn't want all this ferret talk to get super gay. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if Anne dies, uh, Marshmallow will become an NPC, and I guess Johnny can decide if he runs back into the woods or like sticks with the party. When or I or gets squeezed of all the blood in its veins. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so dark. I had a bunch of questions uh, here about Gundam because I was going to talk about it, but we're out of time, so that's not going to happen. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Fuck. Actually, here I'm going to say this now. Remember uh... that conversation, Leon, we had <laughs> where you were trying to make me watch Star Trek? Yeah. And I decided to make you watch JoJo. I'm rescinding that. You have to watch Gundam. It's much closer. Uh, Star Trek started in the 60s. Gundam started in the 70s. They they are science fiction series with with tons of like different iterations. Gundam is this is much more comparable. I'm gonna inflict that on you, and then we can talk about it. Johnny, I'm real. I I watched a Gundam. Which one was it? Good. Um. I don't know which one, but it was just sort of like Gundam Wing, I guess. Was that what it was? Is that a thing? Yeah, that was the mo- that's the one that's most popular in America. There we go. I watched all of Gundam Wing. Gundam Wing is hella gay. It's good. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty gay. It's it's uh not the gay. There was one. a part where there was a part where a guy was in a I don't know a prison cell, and it was like, oh no, we're running out of oxygen. He's like, not if I meditate. <laughs> yeah, it's also pretty silly. And I was. I was like, that's super exciting, yo. But the um, the new Gundam series, Iron-Blooded Orphans, is the first one directed by a woman, which is kind of what got me interested in watching it. It's pretty good. It's not as good as One Punch Man or Death Parade, the other two. First animals. of all, mm-hmm. first of all, I just have to say that the name Iron-Blooded Orphans mm-hmm. deserves to be on a drum set <laughs> instead of an anime. That is like the sweetest band name I've ever heard in my entire life. Hold on. I have to show you the music video for the theme song. You won't believe it. You're not going to believe it. Um, while I'm looking it up, I also have to say that Iron Blooded Orphans is pretty gay. There's um, like everyone in it is like shirtless most of the time, and there's a lot of talk about how like they don't need women. They're how are their how are their lats? Stronger. Uh, Do they have nice lats? Because I worry about the lats. They're really jacked for like teenagers. All right, everybody, stand back. I'm gonna anime. Okay, I just sent the theme song for uh, Gundam Iron Blood Orphans. It's called Raise Your Flag. It is the goofiest. Like, oh, man, man with a mission, raise your flag. It is the most new metal thing. There are people wearing like animal masks. It is, ooh, it's an experience. Um, <laughs> Johnny's going to play it in the background. No, I am. I am. Oh. Now you can keep talking, and I'm just going to turn this up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. <laughs> Martin asks, what is the dumbest name in Gundam? Which is a much more complicated question because, oh man, there are some bad, bad names in Gundam. I have to go with, in the new series, there's a brother and two sisters, and their names are Biscuit, Cookie, and Cracker. Those are their human names <laughs> that the writer gave to them. <laughs> Racist. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, anything you guys want to say right before we go? 
I don't think they make emojis that can express the, the expression of my face right now from watching the first minute of this music video. How good is it? I don't know. I'm trying to get them to ex- express an opinion. <sighs> um. Anyways, um. Yeah, I I do want to say this that if you guys have access to American Netflix, um, you should go to American Netflix and look up. Uh, it's like a 20 15 minute um short film called World of Tomorrow. Oh yeah, it's the Hurts. Yeah, it's the new Hertzfeld film. Sure. Uh, it's 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 on American Netflix. It's 16 minutes long. It's fantastic. He is he continues to cement his place as one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. Um, just like check it out. It's it's awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna talk more about Gundam next week. I'll get it in. Have, um, have you guys have you guys watched World of Tomorrow yet? Have you oh, watched yeah. World of Tomorrow? Oh yeah. yeah, months ago. It's really good. I no longer fall in love with rocks. Mm-hmm.